in case we have forgotten, because we keep hearing that 2014 has been the warmest year on record, I asked the chair, you know what this is? It's a snowball, and that's just from outside here. So it's very, very cold out, very unseasonal. So here, Mr. President, catch this. Mm -hmm. Right. So the most famous climate change denier in Congress, Senate Environment and Public Works Committee Chairman Jim Inhofe, is now thinking about taking his crusade to the upcoming climate talks in Paris, according to The Hill, attempting to block a binding agreement by being what he calls a, quote, one-man truth squad. While Inhofe may be the public face of Republican denialism, however, one of his colleagues in the House is waging something like guerrilla warfare on climate science. Congressman Lamar Smith, Republican from Texas, chairs the House Committee on Science, Space and Technology, a body that David Roberts of Vox argues is even worse than the Select Committee on Benghazi. Because while the Benghazi Committee is, at the very least, investigating a real security failure that led to the deaths of four Americans, Congressman Smith's committee is spending its time hounding scientists who are advancing our understanding of climate change, a group he's never had much regard for. This is nothing new. They always make these kind of predictions, and uh, obviously there are some people that want to use environmental regulations to try to control the economy or trying to control private property. But if you look at their predictions in the past uh, 5 or 10 or 15 years, most of the predictions have been wrong. And anybody who's going to predict what's going to happen in the year uh, 2100, uh, you know, 85 years from now, is not going to be correct. We should note a lot of those predictions have, in fact, been right. In the previous session of Congress, Smith held more hearings on the search for extraterrestrial life than on climate change. Now he's taking a different approach, effectively using the committee's subpoena power to harass scientists whose work he doesn't like. He subpoenaed records from the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Institute over a study that refuted claims of a pause in global warming during the last decade. He conducted an intrusive review of the National Science Foundation's peer-reviewed grant process alleging the agency wastes taxpayer money on frivolous research. And now he's looking to investigate a climate research nonprofit whose director signed a letter to the Obama administration asking it to investigate fossil fuel companies that may have deceived the public about the risks of climate change. Revealingly, Congressman Smith said the letter constitutes, quote, partisan political activity. Pot, meat kettle. With all that, it should surprise exactly no one that Smith raises a huge amount of campaign cash from the oil and gas industry. This is the new normal in our Republican-controlled Congress. With several must-pass items on the agenda, including a budget and a bill to raise the death ceiling, the House Science Committee would rather use its time to bully scientists. There has, however, been one small ray of light this week. Kelly Ayotte of New Hampshire just became the first Senate Republican to endorse the Obama administration's clean power plan which aims to reduce carbon emissions from power plants. Ayat, we should note, is facing a tough re-election battle against the state's popular Democratic governor. As always, the best way to get a politician to care about an issue is to credibly threaten their job if they don't.